Melissa Witt's story is one that is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Her brutal murder is not only a tragedy, but also a fascinating case that has puzzled investigators for years. This case has remained unsolved for three decades, leaving her family and friends with no answers. This case has been called one of the most baffling and frustrating in Arkansas history, and there are many theories and suspects, but no conclusive evidence. Who killed Melissa Witt and why? And is there still hope for justice after 27 years? Melissa Ann Witt, or Missy, as she was known by her friends and family as, was a 19-year-old college student. She was an honor student at West Ark Community College in Fort Smith, where she lived with her mother, Mary Ann. She was studying to become a dental hygienist. She also worked part-time as a dental assistant at a local clinic. She was friendly, kind-hearted, and hardworking, and was well-liked by everyone who knew her. She was a bright, beautiful, and ambitious young woman who had a promising future ahead of her. On December 1, 1994, Missy decided to join her mother at the bowling alley after finishing her day. She parked her car in the lot around 6, third attempt, but she never made it inside. Investigators believe that Missy was abducted from the parking lot by someone who either lured her or forced her into air vehicle. They found evidence of a struggle around her car, including bloodstains, Missy's keys, and an earring. Missy's mother soon realized that something was wrong when she didn't see her daughter at the bowling alley. She went outside and saw Missy's car still parked in the lot, but no sign of Missy. She called the police and reported her missing. Witnesses reported seeing a man in his 30s or 40s with dark hair and a beard driving away in a blue or green pickup truck with Missy inside. A massive search was launched for Missy involving local and state police, the FBI, the media, and the community. Flyers with Missy's photo were distributed everywhere, and tips poured in from people who claimed to have seen her or her abductor but none of them led to any solid leads or suspects. For six weeks, her family and friends searched for her, hoping for a miracle. But on January 13B, 1995, two hunters in the Ozark National Forest stumbled upon a gruesome discovery. They found Melissa's nude body near a headstone like rock. She had been strangled and sexually assaulted. Her Mickey Mouse watch was still on her wrist. It appeared that her body had been dumped at the location where it was found and investigators believe that she was likely murdered elsewhere. The police launched a massive investigation, but no suspect was ever identified or arrested. The case went cold and remains unsolved to this day. But who could have done such a horrific thing to Melissa? A Fort Smith teenager, Melissa Wood, has been a mystery for decades and remains unsolved tonight. New tonight, Jordan Howington is in Fort Smith, where Wood's case continues to haunt the River Valley. And why? Over the years, several theories have emerged pointing to different possible killers. One of them is Charles Ray Vines, also known as the River Valley Killer. Vines was a serial rapist and murderer who terrorized the River Valley area of Arkansas in the 1990s. He raped and killed two elderly women, Juanita Wofford in 1993 and Ruth Henderson in 1995. He was caught in 2000 when he tried to rape and kill a 16-year-old in her house, but was stopped by her stepfather, who beat him nearly to death. Vines is currently serving life in prison without parole, but some believe he may have been responsible for Melissa's murder as well. After all, he operated in the same region and time frame as Melissa's abduction and death. He also had a history of violence against women and showed no remorse for his crimes. Despite this breakthrough, the case remains unsolved and the identity of Melissa's killer remains a mystery. Melissa's family and loved ones continue to search for answers and hold out hope that one day her killer will be brought to justice. Thank you.